everybody welcome back to my channel I'm really excited to be bringing this vlog to you and I'm about to start driving hold on <laughs> okay we're back at another red light but today I wanted to vlog because I'm going to a plant swap and I know that a lot of people are not super familiar with plant swaps and don't exactly know what it would even be like so I have done a plant swap vlog previously but I wanted to do another one because they're really fun and I haven't been to one in a while so I thought that I would bring you along with me so I am bringing a little variety of plants. I have them all in my cooler. If you are familiar with my plant swap um, techniques, I definitely put my plants in a cooler to keep them in a safe, cool environment. It's a little bit more temperature controlled and something like that. And it makes it a lot easier to carry all of them in so you're not carrying like a tray because that can really be a mess. I did record the process of getting the plants ready for the plant swap, so I will pop that footage in right here. Plant Swap is in Phoenix and I am just starting the trek to drive to Phoenix and I realized, I did not realize how deep the Plant Swap was into Phoenix because depending on where places are in Phoenix, it could be like an hour and 15 minute drive, it could be two hour drive and so this one is a two hour drive and I did not realize that so I asked Adam to save me a spot because your girl is not even following her own advice to show up to these types of things early. So if you are going to a plant swap, I would suggest showing up early so you don't get a bad spot and so people can like scope out your stuff and you know what's around because a lot of the time before the plant swap even starts, people are already negotiating. So anyway, I'm going to turn off the camera now so that I can focus on driving and I will see you guys when I get there. I have figured out why it took me so long to get here. There is so much traffic happening in Phoenix and you know big cities this just happens sometimes. It is yeah, there's a lot of cars up there. It is not looking good. The plant swap has actually already started and I'm still about 15 minutes away. You probably saw some 
weird footage of the adventure that was this plant swap. Um, I did show up late, but they hadn't started yet, which was very, very lucky. So I was able to spread out all of my plans just in time for people to um, approach me. <laughs> Overall, it was a very wonderful experience. My friend Trinity is so great at um, hosting and putting together plan swaps. She's so cool. And just things like this remind me how important and how special plant friends are. I can hardly express in words like how badly I want everybody to have these types of experiences because it makes owning plants just so much more fun. Like if you thought that owning plants was fun, you try owning plants with a community of people around you that are so awesome and so cool. Um, Oh, that was the sound of some plants falling over. Anyway. Oh, good morning, everybody. It is the next day. I got home after dark, so I couldn't show you all the plants that I got. And also regarding my hair, I just can't bangs today. You know what I mean? There's just some days where I don't want to. So let's just ignore the fact that my hair looks very strange. Okay, Leo, why are you licking in my mouth? That's really gross. Okay, I wanted to show you what I got from the plant swap in a very casual matter. Um, I didn't bring... I guess I brought back about as much as I brought with me, which was not the plan. But a lot of the stuff that I got are, are things that I'm going to be adding to other plants in my collection. So it's not like I'm adding more pots. I will be just like thickening up some other plants. So anyway, with that being said, so this is a Hoya Lacunosa. And oh, did I? Okay, no, it was just folded over. This is a Hoya Lacunosa. And this is from Adam slash not dude. We all know him. He's been on my channel a few times and it's really beautiful. I'm excited to see what comes of this plant. I really like the like little leaves and we have a growth point here. And actually he told me, well, he told all of us that his lacunosa bloomed and it smelled delicious. So ever since he said that, I'm like, can I have a piece? <laughs> because... I want more than anything to have a Hoya bloom this year. So speaking of Hoyas, I also picked up this Hoya Australis Lisa, which I ripped the pot because, well, it, the pot was wet. This is like a little planter pot where you can just like pot this into the pot. Pot this into the, you know what I mean, anyway. So this is an Australis Lisa. And those colors, I'm sorry, that is just wrong. It is so beautiful. I, oh my gosh, like the second I saw this, I was like, girl, please give me that plant. And it's from someone that I've traded with before and she comes to a lot of the plant swaps. So yeah, I'm excited to have this. It is fully rooted. As you can see, there is a lot of soil coming up with these roots and it was a top cutting. So we have a growth point in the center here, so it will continue to grow. But let me just, oh yeah, that is beautiful. I love the dark green, light green, and the pink. It's just so beautiful. Even more beautiful now that I'm seeing it during the day. Okay, the next thing that I got, which this is something that I have been thinking about for a very long time, and I've, I actually saw them in a local nursery, but I didn't get it because I was like, Ugh, I just would rather not pay. It would, maybe it was like $15 for that, and plant swaps are perfect for those situations. So this is a variegated peace lily, or I'm sorry, this is not a variegated peace lily. This is a variegated prayer plant, and you can see it has just like really lovely flecks on it and a new leaf coming out, and I liked this one because it was already pretty established. Prayer plants don't necessarily do super well at plant swaps unless they are potted up like this. Sometimes I see people like wrap them bare root because they're like fresh cuttings or something, and they almost never make it when I bring them home because I've tried a few times with prayer plants and I just, for some reason, they don't like me that much. But I'm gonna try again with this one and it is smaller so I will be able to like monitor it a little bit better. Not a plant, but someone was giving out free pots. So I saw this like really shallow pot and I wanted to get it. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but it's cute. The next plant that I got, this is from Adam as well is a begonia maculata and it is in Lekka, which is my only plant that I have in Lekka. I am not sure if I will keep it in Lekka because I obviously don't have like the nutrients and everything else, but this is a very, very beautiful begonia. I don't have very many begonias. I actually brought a cutting of my begonia lucerna. To what are you doing? And someone swooped it up really fast, which was nice, um, but the backs of these leaves are nice and red 
And so yeah, I'm excited to see how I do with this. Adam said that it will probably perk up after, you know, it adjusts a little bit more. I think it was very recently put into LECA. So I was lucky enough to score this very large Raven ZZ, and I'm going to be adding it to my other ZZ, which lives up here. It is this one. And actually, this whole thing is made up of plants that I got from plant swaps. Sorry if it's like really hard to differentiate the plant from the background because it looks dark back there in the viewfinder. But anyway, this is one that I have. This piece is from Not Dude, and then these pieces are from someone on Instagram that was at the swap that I'm friends with. So I also got this, and I plan on potting all of them together so that they can coexist and this can kind of just be like my plant trade raven zz pot you know i've never actually purchased a raven zz but people are just very generous in bringing them to trades and i always luck out okay and then this plant right here this is from dahlia she is a viewer here and i'm very excited to have met you dahlia and anybody else who came up to me who was a viewer hi <laughs> thank you for watching my videos and being my friend um, so anyway, this is from her, and she said that a lot of people have told her that it's a Silvery Anne, but she and I both think that it's a Scandapsis Pictus Exotica, not a Scandapsis Pictus Silvery Anne. So this one, it just needs a little bit of a drink, and I'm going to pot it in with this one right here, this Scandapsis Exotica. And I honestly think that this one needs to be repotted because, well, there's no roots coming out the bottom, but it's just getting curly really, really fast. Like I watered this not that long ago, like I think a week ago, and it's already curly again, and usually it takes a lot longer for it to get curly. So I feel like that needs a repot, and I'm going to pot this in with it just to thicken it up a little bit. So yeah, that is what, oh wait, no, no, there's one more thing. Uh, Euphorbia. Rubra. I'm excited about this. It's already very big. It has roots already as well And these are just so easy to just pot into a variety pot or something like that Like I love going to plant swaps and finding things like this because you can always use more of these It's just a really really great piece to have in your like cactus succulent euphorbia variety pots So that's what I got this for and then I also got some seeds um, from someone I'm friends with on Instagram, string of pearl seeds. So I'm going to try out seed starting um, houseplants and I'm interested to see how that will go. I will definitely be making a video about that process. I think I've hinted about it a few times. I also got some string of hearts seeds from Adam and I'm excited to start all of those seeds and see what happens. So I guess that will be all for this vlog. I didn't get like a ton of footage when I was there because obviously we know I showed up late. But I didn't show up so late that I couldn't swap, so that was really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that if you are going to a plant swap sometime in the future that this vlog can help you out and kind of ease your nerves so that you know more of what to expect and what to hope for. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We do a lot of fun plant stuff around here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!